Hey everyone watching Worldwide Entertainment TV. This is Ashley to check out this Worldwide exclusive. We're doing a greatest of all time series. There's a few. There's a few. And with Houston. You know, oh yeah, you know, that's in, you know, that's runs and inflections of. James Brown, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson, no Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. You gotta come up and say something. How do I? I love you. Prince? There was never like any rivalry between you and Mr. Jackson? Oh, not to me, no. You turning down bad. Well, <laughs> you know, that Wesley Snipes character, right. that, that would have been me. <laughs> All right, now, you, <laughs> now you run that video in your mind. <laughs> the first line of that song is, your butt is mine. Your butt is mine. Now I said, who gonna sing that to whom? Cause you sure ain't singing it to me. And I sure ain't singing it to you. So, <laughs> right there we got, you know, right there we got a problem. The, the performers, the entertainers, the, the real singers, the ones who didn't know nothing about Melodyne and, and uh, vocoders and stuff, you know what I mean? Stuff to help you fix your vocals and stuff, you know? The real, real, and performance wise too, Diana Ross, amazing. Yeah. In every situation, you know? Yeah, she's Even the original she diva. She's like the original diva. All right from the start. You, you. <laughs> yeah, like the original diva of R&B, Miss Diana Ross. Even though she was deemed as the underdog by uh, Mary Wilson, basically saying that uh, she was the real star or something along those lines of Diana didn't have the voice, you know, but Diana yeah, I the personality the and the charisma and the the communication skills to, to relay a song and tell the story and connect with the audience. That's everything. Yeah. It's not only about who could sing the best. You know, you could sing the best and be scared to get on stage. That doesn't work, you know? You got to be full circle, well-rounded. So are you a fan of hip-hop? Yes, 100%. <laughs> We've got a poll going on right now. It's the first episode of the series, and it's going to be having greatest artists of all time in their field and asking people who they believe is the greatest. And if not the two artists, then someone else. But right now it's between Nicki, Nicki Minaj and Lil' Kim. Who would you pick between those two? That's to be Kim. That's to be Kim. Okay. She's the originator. <laughs> I agree. She set she set the tone. I agree. Right. But right? And that's the thing. The, keep, keep emulating her, her pictures, her style, her everything. You know what I mean? It just keeps coming back. And it's like, wow, she really, you know, put her foot in it. <laughs> yeah, she did. I know, especially when we were watching like her early stuff, 96, 97, you could see like she was like a blueprint for a lot of females. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just that how she the music coming out naked before anybody else, yeah. <laughs> except for the newborn babies. <laughs> so, your latest projects that you've just put out? Sure. It's called Where I'm At. It's my brand new album. There it is. <laughs> yes, there it is. And I got the vinyl. It's a collector's. 
inside. Let us know your thoughts below and hit that notification bell after subscribing. Visit WWETVN.com.